Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we did all the system prerequisites as well as installation of the Create React app. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about what is the Create React app and some of its features, etc. It's very important because a lot of times beginners will start directly start using it without even understanding what that is and why that is required. So it's my attempt to explain you create react app. This is part three of the series. If you have missed out on the first two parts, I'll request you to kindly go back and revise those concepts that will only help you master react. All right. So this is what we did in the last episode. If you, in case you missed, we did the system prerequisites as well as installation of the Create React app. All right, so what is uh, the Create React app that everybody talks about? Why are we using it? So CRA, which is Create React app, is a tool that helps us in providing quick and hassle-free way to set up a new project, which is a React project. It has all the pre-configuration for development environment, which is necessary, like build tools, dependencies, etc. Usually in any other projects, you would have to do all the manual setup of the start scripts of the installation of the dependencies, etc. CRA already has everything built in, which means when I will cover the folder structure, you will see and notice that most of the things that you require to start a project are already inbuilt of the create react app. There is a way that you can have an abstract way in which all the complex configuration settings, boilerplate code, etc. Everything is readily available. CRA comes with a set of built-in scripts, which is easily accessible through the command line, which is what we did in the last episode. If you notice, we typed the command npm start. It started the application, it built it, it compiled it, it started, and we could see the output in the URL as well. Right. That is because it has all those built in scripts. I have a dedicated episode coming up where I will talk about each of the commands. For today, you should understand some of the features of CRA, which is CRA comes with hot reloading, which means every time you make any change to your code, automatically it is compiled, it is built and the browser is refreshed without any manual intervention. When you are ready to deploy, CRA generates optimized production builds, which means it will generate the minified versions of CSS and JS, which are optimized for performance. CRA supports modern JavaScript features like ES6, syntax, async, await, and much more. CRA provides a way for handling the CSS and styling as well. I'll cover that in the next episode when I'll walk you through the folder structure. Today's episode is purely dedicated to understanding the create react app CRA comes with pre-configured testing tools like jest and react testing library which will make it easy for us to write tests CRA aims to provide smooth out of the box experience which means it's easily we can extend it by using advanced uh, script like eject once you eject you can then change the underlying configurations etc we will look at that also CRA finally is maintained by the React team at Facebook, which means uh, they, you will be getting the regular updates, bug, bug fixes, patches, and much more. That's all you should know about CRA at, as an understanding point of view. In the next episode onwards, we will start deep diving into the actual code base. This is all you should have the initial runway of understanding to start building on top of React. I hope it's clear. Now you will be able to answer anybody what is a CRA, why do we use it, what are the features of CRA, which is Create React App. That's your first starting point of learning. In the next episode, we will deep dive into each of the files that are there in that particular repo. I will explain you, I will make notes for you. And after that episode, you will be able to master the CRA initial boilerplate. And then we can start writing our own code. 
I hope you are enjoying the series. I hope you are learning. I hope you are finding it easy. If there are some topics that you feel I should touch base more, please write to me in the comment section. I will be more than happy to cover them in detail. Keep up the learning. Keep growing. <coughs> Remember, I am here to help you. So please let me know if you have any queries or doubts. Thank you for joining. See you in the next episode.